I'm really nervous for this or ex slash excited. So, um, let's do it. Come on, guys. What is going on guys, my name is Face Jasper, as always, I am today recording a Snapchat q and as you can see, we have quite a different setup. So, I have this app right now, it's called Reflector, it records my screen, and it, I also have my normal camera right here. What up, dope? Oh, I shouldn't dab anymore, but today we do a... Ah, oh, damn, I look tired. I haven't had the best night of sleep last night, but it's alright, we're back here. Uh, with another video doing a snapchat q a and right now i can open you guys a snap and you guys can watch it with me and listen which is obviously more fun to do so let's get right into it shall we hey jasper i know you probably get this a lot but why what would you give for advice with sessions at the gym and would it be good choice to try out a different type of gym every once in a while uh you don't necessarily need to do a different gym uh if your gym has all the equipment you can just try out different equipment uh, I shouldn't uh, choose like a different gym every single time. Uh, it's, you know, it doesn't really make sense. But my advice with sessions at the gym is don't make sure they're not too long. Make sure you are giving it your all in like an hour, hour, 15 minutes, and then get out. Just like get in, hit it hard, and then get out. Are you planning to visit the face house LA anytime in the future? Yes, I want to go to the LA face house this summer. It's the way to go. I want to visit LA. Uh, I want to go there very badly. It doesn't really matter when I go. I just want to make sure I can go for like a, a week or two and then have some fun there and make some videos. That would be really cool. <laughs> what the hell? He just dropped his macro on his shirt. <laughs> That's hilarious. How do you actually calculate macros? I've seen videos, but that they're all really confusing. So macros, if you didn't know already, I actually made a video for the, the pro teams uh, on macros, but Macros are pretty simple. Everything we eat is made out of macronutrients. It is carbs, it's fats, and it's protein. There's also another one, it's alcohol, which I don't drink, so I don't really do anything with it. But a carb and a protein are four grams. Uh, one gram is four calories, and one gram of fat is nine. One gram of alcohol is seven calories. So that's pretty much what you do. And then it's all about splitting that up to fit your... Uh, goal set. So, if, for example, if you want to lose weight, um, you have your fats a little bit lower, you have your carbs a little bit lower, and you have your protein at a certain base, so you make sure you uh, don't lose an, like a lot of muscle. If you're not really doing anything with muscle, you just want to lose weight, then it's more about the amount of calories um, in general that you consume. Um, the split doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it does matter, but not to an extent where like you need to keep some muscle mass and, and then you, know, you need to make sure you, you eat enough protein. So uh, I think a good split is like 40, 30, 30 or 45, 30, 25. So 40 carbs, 40 percent carbs, 35 percent, no, 30 percent protein and then 25 percent fat. The fat is always the lowest one. Uh, usually if you're on a ketogenic diet, then there's no carbs, which I don't recommend, by the way. A ketogenic diet be basically means that you... Your body takes in energy from your carb sources, but if you don't eat any carbs, your body has to take it from your fat sources. Um, and some people think it's very healthy to do and it's a good thing to do, but like not eating carbs, you'll, like, you'll feel like shit. Like there's, it's not sustainable, I think. So how do you get yourself motivated every day to have a great workout? Uh, well, it's, it's pretty much the same answer that I always give, man. It's like motivation is an emotion. It comes from within you. Um, it's not like something that I have to think about even I wake up and I was like uh, what time can I go to the gym? What time can I do this? Like it, I want it so bad I want to go to the gym so bad because I want to improve myself so bad I don't even think about going like if even if I want to go because I know I want to go like I feel that way so um, Yeah, it's it's interesting, but um, If you do if you're not motivated to do something whatever it is fitness, school, do I really want to be a doctor, bro, I'm not really motivated to, to study, like, you want to be a doctor, bro, you have to study, so you have to realize that, and then um, the motivation has to come from within yourself, you don't take motivation from somewhere else or from someone else, um, my good friend Sensei always said, if I couldn't sell motivation in a bottle, I would be the richest man alive, which is obviously true, but because so many people are struggling with staying motivated, but I feel like when you're so driven, in reaching your goal, whatever that goal may be, you'll always get there. 
Hi, what? Jasper. I was just wondering what kind of tips you have for people who oh, are trying to lower this. their body fat percentage. Hi, Jasper. I was just wondering what kind of tips you have for people who are trying to lower their body okay, fat percentage. Okay, so trying to lower the body fat percentage, as I said, again, with the macro thing, you really have to figure out what your maintenance calories are and then go below that so you eat less than you burn a day so your body doesn't have a fully... Um, doesn't have enough calories to recover to your maintenance weight, which makes you lose weight. Um, it obviously goes that goes more into that, but that's the basic principle. You can do cardio to burn some extra calories, so you can even if you're let's say you need for your body two thousand calories to maintain your body weight, and you still eat two thousand because you don't want to feel like crap, whatever. And then you do a cardio session for two hundred calories, that brings you on eighteen hundred total of a day so it's still like there's still under your maintenance calories which still makes you lose weight but obviously it's a lot it's very hard it's a long process probably it's like it takes a while but that's pretty much the basic thing that you have to figure out what are your goals in terms of fitness at the moment strength weight physique wow that was a fast one hold to reply strength weight physique etc uh strength i want to build up my deadlift again i want to uh, uh, do a one power session a week and one hypertrophy session a week same with squats same with de um bench bench actually not the same with bench i want to keep my bench on five times eight two times a week but i want to do all those three two times a week <laughs> two times a week um i want to build those main ones and then uh physique wise bring the the chest up on the right side and um, thickness in the back. That's uh, something I want to do, but that's also going to do with deadlifts. It's going to bring more thickness in my back because I need to, I'm pretty wide, like this wide. Okay, like, my lats are pretty big. But when I turn on my side, I look, I don't look too big because my back isn't like really thick. So um, yeah, that's something I want to work on. And this is retarded, annoying. All right, next question. Would you rather stay in or go out for a date? I would rather go out for a date, to be honest. And I do have a date, so. Oh yeah, I haven't told you guys yet, but I am seeing someone. Oh, <laughs> she just sent me a Snapchat, so we're gonna open that after this. Uh, watch a comedy or horror comedy all day. I hate horror films. All right, I'm gonna blur the name or like put a, something on it since I don't want you guys to stalk her. But she's gonna ask a question. I think she is. Um. <laughs> I'm really nervous for this or ex slash excited. So, um, let's do it. Hey, Jasper. I was wondering if you're having a girlfriend. Hey, Jasper. I was wondering. I'm if having, having a girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have a girlfriend. Um, you just sent me a Snapchat. You just seen her face for the first time. I'm super, like, not scared, but, like, I'm super cautious with, with putting stuff on the internet like that since it's you know the, the internet is a weird place it's a dumb place um but yeah she's my girlfriend and um she's really dope i'm gonna in introduce you guys to her very very soon um since it's dope it's really it really is dope she's really not she's so dope i like her so much we click so well um I know she's watching this, so I'm like, <laughs> oh God, she's honestly the nicest person ever. She's super sweet. She's like really down to like help me with, uh, she keeps me sane, man, honestly. Um, yeah, so I do have a girlfriend. You just saw her face for the first ever time. So I, yeah, she's very pretty. I, she's a really pretty girl. Hey, what's up, Jasper? What is the best squat progression or squat routine that you know of that could help me progress okay. quickly? That's a good question, actually. Uh, I like that one. Um, squat progression. Um, you can do a couple. In my personal experience, I'm not saying that I know everything or at all, but I'm just always giving answers on my uh, experience, um, is that I... It depends on how like how you're training right now. If you're training like a five by five or like a five by eight or a three by twelve or whatever you're doing, switch that up. So switch it up from like a high rep range to a lower one, and then you can up the weight and you can progress that way. And then you switch back to like a higher higher rep one, or vice versa. If you are in a lower one, try to do a higher one and hit the same numbers and progress until you hit the same numbers. Then go back to five by five so you can up those numbers again and repeat the cycle. 
Um, what also you can do is slow negatives. Um, very slow reps in general is very good. Um, you can do assisted ones with like bands or something uh, where you have a little bit of help uh, to help you with the, the higher of weights. And then um, other than that, that's pretty much what I do to help me progress with any lift, whatever I'm stuck on. So yeah, guys, you now really met my girlfriend, kind of met. I will be doing an Instagram live with her. She wants some media training. She's pretty scared to honestly get on video. So it's a big step for her to be on this video, which I really, that's pretty dope. She's like, she's taking those steps. It's it's awesome to see. Like, I like her a lot. And um, yeah, she's dope. So uh, you'll see more of her in the future. I just want to be very cautious with everything since I'm, the internet is a fucked up place and I don't want her to be, to get hurt by anything like stupid because some internet troll is like fucking my life up. But, um, so we'll, we'll do baby steps. But now she, you, you obviously seen her face, hear, heard her voice as well. And I hope I didn't leave out anything like why her name. That was going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. I had a lot of fun doing it. I talked a lot. I talk, I rambled, blah, blah, blah. I rambled so much this video. But I like it. It's like I'm talking to a lot of you guys, which is a lot of fun. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching again. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And tune in to my Instagram live when I post it because it's going to be with my girlfriend. And you can ask her questions. So let's see that. All right, peace. Ciao.